If you could play Kirby in HD with impressive features like HD rumble and advanced motion controls wherever you go, would you? I would say that most of you are saying yes. But the question is, will that even happen with Kirby's first dip into the Nintendo Switch, Kirby Star Allies? Hey guys, Vizierlo Productions here. Kirby is a character that I know pretty well, besides the fact that I haven't touched any of his games. Anyway, Kirby on Nintendo Switch, it's already been confirmed actually. Back in E3 2017, Kirby Star Allies was shown off to everyone with what looks like pretty positive responses. A lot of people commented on the action aspects of the game as well, and that's something that I too picked up on. Eh, I personally don't know how to feel about the game. It looks like Smash Brothers, it seems to act like Smash Brothers, and overall it just seems like Kirby Smash Brothers. Now I do know that this game has a lot of elements in it that Smash doesn't have. Smash is just a giant beat-em-up game, while Star Allies has you running through levels with elements similar to Smash, or so it seems. But from what I can tell, no other Kirby game has had such similar elements to Super Smash Bros. as this one. And I'm not saying that's bad, Smash is really fun, and I mean really fun. It's the best 2D fighter I've ever played, and challenging your friends by beating the hell out of them is awesome. In fact, Kirby seems to be a pretty popular Smash character himself. So, Kirby and Smash go well together, why not give Kirby his own Smash game? Well, I'll get into that at the end of the video. I should probably stop beating Super Smash Bros. to death. So now let's focus on a different element of this game. When Kirby Star Allies was first shown off to the public, which I won't show footage of because of copyright reasons, Nintendo seemed to focus in on Kirby's copy abilities and what you can do with them. Kirby's copy abilities have always been a unique trademark for Kirby. It allows Nintendo to recycle character concepts, but while I think that the ability is useful, I don't think a Kirby game can escape without having something new to offer and not just, oh, Kirby can copy this and he can copy that. Think about it, would you play a $60 Kirby game where all you do is just copy other Nintendo characters' abilities again and again and again and again? Maybe it's just me. We'll have to see what Nintendo does with this when the game launches, but for now, I'm a little bit skeptical. Oh, let's talk levels. The trailers for Kirby Star Battles show a lot of different puzzles, enemies, and elements. One thing that I am curious about is what looks like a boss character in the original Kirby E3 reveal. A boss called Wispy Woods looks like it has variety. And if this game has plenty of bosses like Wispy Woods, then we can probably expect a fresher experience. For puzzles, Nintendo has previewed some, such as what looks like an air puzzle and a few others. I have no doubts in the puzzles that will be in this game when it comes to variety. However, I am slightly worried that they might be too easy. Enemies seem to have new powers that they can use to fend off Kirby as well, but what's interesting is that similar to something like Super Mario Odyssey, Kirby can sort of make the enemies fight for him. This is where the game really shows its Super Smash Bros. similarities, but I've already talked about that. And that's basically it so far. Not much information has come out besides two teasers, so it's difficult to make any concrete predictions as of right now. But will this game suck? Well, again, I don't know for sure, but so far, it seems like that question is entirely opinionated. I can't judge if this game sucks or not right now because I haven't played it. If you want to decide if it sucks for yourself, feel free to watch the game's trailers. For me, I'm on the fence for this game. It looks like it could be fun, but I simply don't know enough about it to make a final decision. Plus, I've bought many games that have had a similar presence to this game day one simply because I was convinced I'd like it. Ahem, <coughs> uh, Yoshi's Worldly World. And I never touched them after I played the first few levels. But again, this is entirely opinionated. I personally am not too much of a fan of the Smash elements because it just kind of seems mashed together, if that makes sense. But I don't know, I haven't even played the game. 
Maybe when it comes out, it'll be fantastic, I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens when it comes out. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy the video. It would be appreciated if you shared this video, but it's always up to you. Thank you so much for watching as well, it really does mean the world to me. I'll have links to my other social medias in the description, and see you.